Hello everyone. Welcome to my Friday Weekly Melt. And today I have three candles to share with you. I'm melting, well, burning more around the home, but I'm only going to have a few candles out at a time because it will take me forever. First off, I want to show you a nice dud that's going back to the store. Yankee Candles Peppermint Cocoa. I had this last year. And it was giving me a little bit of trouble at the start, but I thought, oh, no big deal. It will correct itself because I finally have the Illumilid. And it didn't. Look at this mess. It's horrible. See? And the wick is very tiny, and I think they trimmed it for me. And it's such a shame because the Illumilid's doing nothing. I've tried the foil trick. It's just there's not enough flame to even make an even pool of wax. So it will be going back to the store this weekend. It's such a shame because this is a great scent. <laughs> this is a great scent. It's super strong. I mean, this candle is really, really strong. I'm not into chocolate scents, but this has got a lot of peppermint. And then it does have like that creamy milk chocolate cocoa scent. It smells so good. It's just an awesome scent. Mm, it really is. It just smells like a nice cup of peppermint cocoa, but unfortunately, it's doing a terrible job, so I'm going to have to return that. One that is doing wonderfully is Yankee's Gingerbread. This is awesome. I had this candle last year, and I didn't burn much of it last year. It was up to here, and I've been going crazy with it lately. It's got so much oils in it. This scent is strong. I'm enjoying this so much. It is really, really a strong scented candle and you could smell the gingerbread. And it's not really it's not a creamy gingerbread at all. It's just a straight up gingerbread scent. I don't get any creaminess to it or anything like that. I just get a gingerbread cookie. And it's so good. I've been loving, loving, loving this candle and I'm gonna be so sad when it's gone because every day I am melting it because I can't get enough. And you can just it's melting beautifully. This is the old wax. Love it. And the oils are just so saturated all down the bottom. It's awesome. It's too bad they do not have this wax anymore. This candle, if you could get your hand on a gingerbread candle, I definitely would. It's so strong. It smells it smells delicious. And then this one here, I have it in one of my Bath and Body Works candle sleeves. This is a uh, triple scented gingerbread, and I've been melting this one when I have my other, my Yankee gingerbread going. I'll have this one here going in the family room, and the other one in the kitchen. And this one is a really good gingerbread as well. This is from, I'm trying to find the name, Country Heart Soy Blend Candles. I found them online, they're like wholesale. You can get the candles really cheap. I think six ninety nine for a sixteen ounce candle or seven ninety nine, something like that. It's not expensive. I can't remember the exact price. And if you make a purchase of a hundred, you get free shipping. But I mean you can get cases. You can get like a case of candles. I forget how much that is. So I I don't yeah, I'll link it down below the website so you can look. But I know there's a case of candles and when you buy the case you get one free. You get a free candle. And you can get all assorted scents. So I'm enjoying this. There was one candle that I got that I didn't bring out. I'll have that next week. I have to test out again. That wasn't strong. It's not a strong scent anyways. But this one is a really strong scent. And it's a true-to-life gingerbread. I'm loving it. I'm very pleased with it. It's one of those mason, you know, mason jar candles. All the candles are mason jars. They've got 16 and 18 ounces. they got big bowls with three wick which that's what I want to try. They do have a lot. So I am really enjoying this candle as well. It smells absolutely amazing. Next, I'm going to get into the tarts, and I'll start with one of those Country Home, uh, Country Heart Soy Candles. They have tarts as well. They come in a four-pack. I've already melted one. They're not huge, but I'll tell you, they have a strong punch. See? They're about this size. And they come in a pack of four. And this one is candy cane. They come like this. You know, the problem is, it's like I got to keep the, 
the label with it there. Not that I wouldn't know this is candy cane, but this is how they come. They're potpourri melts. They're called Country Heart Soy Blend Candles. They're ninety nine for four of them. And this one is really strong. Uh, I put one tart in my warmer in my kitchen, and oh my goodness, it was so strong. I couldn't believe it because I'm having a very hard time with tarts lately. I don't know what it is. It's like I almost have to put like two or three tarts in one room. I, I don't understand what's going on with me at all. So I've been burning a lot of candles, and I'm trying to get strong scented candles. This one was absolutely amazing. It was a true candy cane scent. It was really strong for one tart, and I used this in my party light warmer. It was amazing. Loved it. However, there was a couple of other scents I wasn't too crazy about. I tried their toasted marshmallow. It's a strong scent, but it doesn't smell like marshmallow to me. It just had a weird scent to me. Marshmallow, I'm very funny with. Some people love, I like, I don't like Tiffany Candles marshmallow. It doesn't smell like marshmallow to me. So, you cannot go by me all the time when I talk about a marshmallow scent because I know a lot of people love Tiffany's marshmallow scent, but to me, it's not the marshmallow that I'm looking for. But this one had like a, like I said, it wasn't really like a sweet scent. It was kind of like a mellowed, burnt scent to me. So, I was not impressed with that one. <clears throat> I was, however, impressed with this thank you. They do give you thank you tarts. This one was in cranberry. And oh my goodness, I melted this in my snowman, probably like snowman warmer in my family room. This lasted like 12 hours strong. And after like 12 hours, I had to turn it off. It was giving me a headache. It was really strong. It was a nice, cram sweet cranberry. That's all it was. Super, super strong for a little heart tart. I couldn't believe it. So, for a cranberry lover, this would be perfect. It's really, really strong. And it has to be strong in order for me to say this, because like I said, you're going to hear some scents that I just tried out that weren't strong enough for me, which is weird. I have apple butter caramel bread, and I have this going right now in my family room. It's a nice scent. You can smell the apple butter, which I love it. You can smell the sweet caramel and the bread note. However, I wish I had two. I got this in a sample pack. I need two in here. And front porch is usually very strong. They always are. But for some reason, my nose, again, is acting up. And I need two tarts in one room. It's not strong enough. In my bedroom, it's perfect. In my family room, no. I can smell it. But like I said, it's not strong enough for me to really enjoy it. So if I had another one, I would love it. But this is a good scent. Like I said, it's just a perfect mix of the apple butter and that. It's a nice sweet caramel. It's not like a thick, rich caramel. It's a sweet caramel with a bread note. It is delicious. I just wish I had two, but that was in a sample pack. Here was another one, sugar cookie dough bread. This is in a sample pack, and I also have this one in a four pack. And I really enjoyed this. However, I don't think I would repurchase it just because I was looking for more of a sweet sugar cookie. And this had the dough note. And the dough, no the dough bread that's in this kind of tones down the sugar cookie for me. So I don't think I would repurchase this scent because I really want a straight-up strong sugar cookie scent. Like I said, it was more of the dough bread with a little bit of sugar cookie. It was nice, but it wasn't my favorite scent. I, de I definitely love this straight sugar cookie. I, I love this straight sugar cookie. It's amazing. One that I have been enjoying in the bedroom is Front Porch's Peppermint Noel. And I've got these in little sparks here. This is really good. It's a nice, sweet peppermint. The Noel doesn't tone it down a lot. It just tones it down a teeny bit. But it's just a nice, sweet, kind of creamy peppermint. But you still get a strong peppermint scent. I love this in my bedroom at night. You just put, I just put like one or two little small pieces of bark in there. And it scents up my whole bedroom. Now, in my bedroom, I can get away with just one tart from front porch, obviously. And before, I used to be able to get away with just one tart in my family room. But, like I said, I just think my nose lately needs really stronger, stronger 
scents going, usually two tarts at one time, which is very strange. But I love front porches peppermint Noel. I finished off, you really can't see this, but this is Candles from the Keeping Room, Pumpkins and Pralines. <laughs> it's all squished. This was delicious. This was really delicious. It wasn't that strong in my family room. I had to put two tarts. And it is a strong scent. But in my bedroom, super strong one tart. You got a pumpkin, but it wasn't like... It wasn't mixed with a bunch of spices. It was just a pumpkin. And then you got that nuttiness of the pralines. It was delicious. This would be definitely a repurchase for the fall. I loved, loved the scent. Candles in the Keeping Rooms Cranberry Bunt. This is delicious. And these are in the buns. I had this one going in my snowman party light warmer and I loved this scent. It lasted quite a while in that in that warmer. It's a sweet cranberry scent with a bakery note. You get like a little bit of a cake note with a sweet, very sweet cranberry. I love it. It is so good. Oh, my goodness. It's just a bit... Oh, my gosh. If you like sweet, sweet cranberries, this is it. Because it's got a little bit also, like I said, of that cake kind of note. Like a little bit of a vanilla note or something. Really good and really strong. I wish I got an 8-ounce bag instead of a 4-ounce bag because this is delicious. And I'm... I, I want to... I'm going to have to melt two the next time just so I can get a super strong scent here in my family room. Now I used to be able to get away with just one last year and every other year of candles in the keeping room in my family room. It's just my nose is changing. So one that I am super sad to see gone is peppermint marshmallow. This is my favorite peppermint marshmallow scent. I love her marshmallow blends. Love it. This is a marshmallow that I love the most so far is candles in the keeping room. It's a nice creamy marshmallow. Smells like marshmallow. And mixed with that pep peppermint is delicious. I had this going in my bedroom and I loved it. Oh my goodness. The peppermint is strong but you still get that that marshmallow. That sweet marshmallow note. It was so good and I went to go get an 8 ounce bag and she was all sold out. And it said she had a lot in stock. I think it said like 6. And every time I tried to go put some in it because I was going to get a couple of bags it says it was sold out. I was so that because I wanted a huge 8 ounce bag and peppermint marshmallow and I'm just sad that I think after December she won't be having the peppermint blends out and this is one that I would really want in an 8 ounce bag to have during the during the winter time, any time, all year round this is an all year round step for me love it, if you can get your hands on it, grab it it's hard to get a hold of melted a couple of Yankee candle tarts I'm getting wax everywhere Christmas Punch from last year. This is good. I melted this in my kitchen. Again, in my party light warmer. And this is a good cranberry punch, kind of like a cranberry drink. It was nice. It wasn't as strong as last year because it is a year old, but it was nice. It definitely smells like a punch. You get cranberries. It's like almost like you get a cranberry juice. With a little bit of fizzy, it doesn't tickle your nose, but a little bit of fizz maybe. That might be, maybe there's a little bit of a citrus note in there, but it's good. I do like that. Melted vanilla cookie. This one, however, I melted on my 24-watt warmer in my office, and it was not that strong. Unfortunately, I was really looking for a good vanilla cookie, and this wasn't it. Very little scent, and it's such a shame because when it is, Strongly scented. It's an awesome scent. It's just a nice vanilla cookie. Nothing fancy. Just vanilla cookie. Not sugar cookie. But it did not have much of a scent. Granny's Country Candles. Snowman Poop. This barely had any scent whatsoever. I still can't smell much in this. This is all the wax. Yeah. I couldn't even tell you what was in it. I don't know if there's a little bit of peppermint or not. I didn't get a scent, so such a shame. That was the old wax. I'm trying to see if there's any more of the old wax. Oh, this one was the old wax as well. Sugar cookie. This, 
I was so disappointed. And you know what it smells like? It smells like the sugar cookie dough bread from front porch, which is a great scent, but it's not a sweet sugar cookie. So that, it, it smells exactly like that to me. It wasn't strong at all either. This was very, very weak, but this is it's exactly what it smells like. It smells like raw cookie dough without that sweetness of sugar cookie. I didn't like that because I was expecting, like I said, a really sweet sugar cookie, not a dough No, So this was not one that I liked. It was more of a cookie dough. One of her newer scents, well, newer wax, no, yeah, it's one of her newer waxes, the Butter Pecan Chews. This was strong. The bottom came off. This was strong. It was just a nice butter cookie scent with a little bit of pecans in it. It was nice, but very, very buttery. Hence the name butter. So it was nice. It was strong, and it smelled like butter, butter cookie pecans is what it smelled like. That was good. I finished off one clamshell of Better Homes and Gardens Warm Baking Spices, and this I really enjoyed. It's just a bunch of nice baking spices, probably cinnamon, cardamom, nutmeg, which is really nice and just kind of relaxing to me, kind of cozy scent. So I'm sad to see this go. It's actually, I've got my last cube melting right now. It smells so good. It's not super, super strong. It's more of a medium scent, though. And which is weird for Better Homes and Gardens. But it's a good scent if you're looking for more of one of their mellow scents. This is a good one. I melted two of the Kissing Booth Tough Cookie. This, oh my goodness, will knock your socks off. It is so strong. I took a picture of this while I was melting it. And it had all the gold inside my warmer and everything. It was really good. This is super, super, super strong. I'm not kidding. Really strong. You definitely get a sugar cookie. Very strong sugar cookie. And then you get a lemon note to it. It is delicious. But I could only handle it for six hours and I had to turn my warmer off. I had this going in my bedroom and I had one going in my family room. The family room I could handle... A long period of time because it's a large room. My bedroom, after about maybe five hours, I would say, I had to turn it off for the day because it was just so strong in my bedroom. So I don't know. Something like this, I don't think I'd put in my bedroom just because it's so strong. But family room, it's great. That It's just a unique scent. It's got sugar cookie in it, but it's got a lemon note to it. So it's almost like a lemon wedge cookie to me. That's what it reminds me of. It is so good. So if you like lemon scents and, and cookies, like sugar cookies mixed together, you're going to love the Kissing's Booth Tough Cookie because it is really good. It, like I said, it just smells like a nice lemon wedge. And then last, I melted Tiffany Candle Cinnabon. I love her Cinnabon scent. I absolutely adore this scent. It's really strong. It's got a nice sweet Cinnabon scent. It's like you get the cinnamon and frosting mixed together to me. It is so good. It's not your straight cinnamon scent. It's got more of a frosting note to it or an icing. Love it. And like I said, it is really, really strong. This would definitely be a repurchase and it's great to mix and blend with this scent. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Oh, and I do have one more. I have a sample here from Soilicious Eucalyptus and Mint, and this is a really nice scent. This is old. Oops. This is really strong on the eucalyptus, and then you get the mint. And I use just a little bit, like you see, this is one of the samples. I use this in my bedroom. It was just really good. It was, like I said, more of eucalyptus than mint, but it was just an awesome combination of the two scents blended together. And it, the eucalyptus wasn't too much for me because I have this in a candle. In candle form, the eucalyptus is, like, so strong. I can't I can't melt the candle. I've had it for two years, and I cannot melt the candle because the eucalyptus is so strong. But in the tart form, I could handle it because the two just balance perfectly together. It's a really nice scent. Unfortunately, Soilicious, their shipping and handling it is outrageous. If it wasn't so expensive, this company would be one to really go for because their tarts, are amazingly strong. I mean, really, really strong. And they melt in all warmers, you know, 24 watts, because it's a soft soy. 
But the 24-watt warmer doesn't suck out the scent any quicker than like a low-watt warmer or a light bulb warmer. So it's just really a shame that their shipping is so high. And I tried to talk to the owner about that, and he said there's nothing he could do about it because it's an amazing company. It's Like I said, the shipping is just way out of control. So that's everything I melted over the week, pretty much. Like I said, I have a couple of candles here and there, but I will have them in next week's uh, Friday Weekly Melts. Thanks so much for watching, and happy melting. Bye.